Hello folks, back again. Sorry this isn't an action shot of me riding the bike and showing how brilliant it is. Yeah, it wasn't that great. The uh, twist grip handlebar thing here. Yeah. Mm, seems to be a bit sort of uh, sticky. When you get it in full throttle and you go to release the throttle, it just stays full throttle. That ain't good, but... I can live with that. But the bigger problem is it didn't have much go. Not that I expected it to have a great deal. The um, From what I was working out before we were pulling 1.6 amps out of each of the batteries and that isn't good. Not with small batteries that are really not up to the job. Old laptop batteries not even designed to give high power in the first place. So that's not good. Uh, don't have enough of them. That's not good. Um, one third of them at least are extremely poor. Maybe around about the 1000 milliamp per hour, the 1500 milliamp per hour was what they were measuring at. Uh, the other two packs are fairly good. They were measuring around two to two and a half thousand milliamp per hour. But if I'm trying to draw 1.6 amps out of each battery, that's not going to work so well. So that needs upgrading big time. Uh, as you can see, I'm recharging the batteries here. I've just got this charger. So first time trying it. Seems to be okay. I deliberately went for the proper skookum. Uh, IMAX B6. It has the hologram and the bigger cutouts in the bottom. So I think it's genuine. So I decided to go with that rather than since the rest of the bike was pretty flaky. I didn't want a flaky charger as well. So anyway, I got that and I'm just charging up the batteries again after taking it out for a spin today. I had a lot of fun driving around, riding around the, the house and not really getting up great speed, but it was good fun anyway. Um, I think if I did have better batteries and better uh, power, I do think that this system of pulleys going around this belt and down to this big pulley, this belt from the small pulley to the big pulley, I think that would slip a fair bit. But I don't, I'm not too worried about that. That could always be tightened. Or it could be changed for a toothed belt and pulley system. So that's alright. Not too worried about that. Um, this little buck converter, you can see, is turned off at the minute because I'm charging the batteries. But it seemed to work fine. And I was able to adjust the voltage from... 4 volts up until 9 volts. To be honest, 5 or 6 volts seems to be fine. That seems to work about as well as any. So uh, we'll stick with that. I'll try and, try and maybe get a some, some version of a battery pack that gets close to 5 or 6 volts. I think 4 was a little bit low and uh, 9 didn't really help any. So it, I'll probably get a, a 2S battery which We'll give around about 8 volts, dropping down to 6 or thereabouts when it's um, when the battery's nearly done. So that should be good enough. 2S battery should do that fine. Um, I might actually go ahead and get uh, a couple of 5S batteries. They seem to be reasonably cheap, around about £30 mark sterling. Uh, 5S battery, two 5S batteries would give me... Um, around about 40 volts give or take 40, 48 volts maybe so it, it, enough it'll be, it'll be enough this controller should be able to handle it alright but that's probably my best bet 5, 4 or 20, 20 yeah it gives about 42 volts I think so that should be ok so I'll maybe go with two 5S batteries um you can probably also notice I'm not using 
any kind of uh, balancing here. These batteries have only been used a couple of times, so I'm not too worried about them. And I'll saw, uh, solder balancing leads on at a later time if I decide to go that way. But I suspect these batteries won't last very long. I might even use these ones to do the uh, the coils for the armature and get the get the, the two uh, the two five S batteries, like I say. But anyway, it did work. It did give me a lot of fun for ten or fifteen minutes, and I'm just charging the batteries again so that tomorrow we can have a little bit more fun. So. For now, thanks very much for watching and take care. Bye bye.